Hey there and welcome to the daily Manchester United news show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Luke Shaw is at St George Park with England squad continuing his rehabilitation from injury. Manchester United left back Luke Shaw was expected to miss the rest of the season following an injury relapse. However, he could be back before the end of the campaign following an update from the Times chief football writer Henry Winter. According to the journalist, the Red Devils star is currently continuing his rehabilitation with the England squad at St George Park. Shaw will not be involved when England meet Brazil and Belgium on Saturday and next Tuesday respectively. However, Manager Gareth Southgate's invitation speaks volumes as England won the Man United defender at the European Championship in June. The 28-year-old was withdrawn against Luton Town last month following a knock and has played just 15 games across all competitions this term. Man United manager Eric Ten Hag was forced to play Aaron Wan-Bissaka at left-back against Liverpool last Sunday. He could keep the former Crystal Palace star in the position after the international break after Victor Lindelof returned to centre-back for the FA Cup game. While the Red Devils are short of options at the back due to the injuries, Shaw and other defenders have sustained, England do not have such problems. The old Trafford the club could do with him right now as they look to end the season by securing a place in the Champions League next term. However, Ten Hag will not want to rush Shaw back into action. England are interested in his recovery despite the plethora of options available in the position as he brings much needed experience to the table. Shaw will be hoping he can return on time and make this quote to Germany for the tournament. Manchester United have no plans of selling Harry Maguire in the summer. Eric Ten Hag was forced to throw the kitchen sink on Sunday and at times Harry Maguire was the lone centre-back in defence while everyone else pushed forward while when going long. He was also seen playing as the auxiliary striker. The England international has enjoyed something of a career renaissance this term, starting 19 times in all competitions already as compared to 16 times all season last time out. He was close to a summer exit with West Ham United, even agreeing a fee with the Red Devils only for the move to follow through at the last minute. Despite intense criticism from all quarters, he has gone about training and performing as professionally as possible and his desire and availability have impressed the manager. However, it was revealed that the Hammers will once again come back for the England international this summer while United even had plans of using the £80 million man in a potential swap deal involving Lucas Paqueta coming to the Theatre of Dreams. Give Me Sport have now indicated that these are all heresy with the new minority stakeholders keen on holding on to the 31-year-old with his experience and leadership traits considered invaluable. Additionally, the report has also claimed that Victor Lindelof has a higher chance of the parting at the end of the season as compared to the former Leicester City man. The report reads the following. Man United defender Harry Maguire is attracting interest from West Ham United, but the Red Devils aren't actively looking to offload the England international as it stands. His performances have come under intense scrutiny during his time at Old Trafford, but the English defender has restored his reputation this term with Ten Hag utilizing him as a key player. The Red Devils believe Maguire has important leadership traits and experience within the United squad. In terms of outgoings, Victor Lindelof is a more plausible exit than Maguire as it stands. Interestingly, Dina Jones has also claimed that United would only consider a sale if a vastly improved offer to the current Hammers deal is presented to them. 
Man United star set to discuss transfer situation in face-to-face -face talks with Ten Hag, says expert. Christian Eriksen is set to discuss his Manchester United future with manager Eric Ten Hag soon, ahead of a potential transfer exit this summer, according to Fabrizio Romano. It's not been the easiest season for Eriksen, who is no longer a regular starter for Man United and who has gone public to the Danish press about his concerns. The former Tottenham playmaker has made it clear he has spoken to Eric Ten Hag about being worried at his lack of opportunities and Romano now says it could be that he would hold further talks with the manager as his future at Old Trafford looks uncertain. Speaking exclusively to Cout of Sight for his latest daily briefing column, Romano suggested that Eriksen is still being professional with his situation at United even if it's clear that important discussions about his situation will take place soon. Eriksen will have face-to-face -face talks with Ten Hag to resolve this, but it certainly seems like it's possible we'll see the Denmark international moving on from United after just two seasons at the club. Romano said the following, Another player who is not entirely happy with his situation is Manchester United player Eriksen, who spoke in an interview about his conversations with Eric Ten Hag. He has made it clear he is not happy, always being on the bench, so in the summer transfer window, his situation could be one to watch. The plan for now is for Eriksen to discuss his future ahead of the summer transfer window in face-to-face -face talks with Ten Hag and the club. Eriksen is appreciated at the club as an honest and super professional guy, so Man United will be clear with him and we will see both sides' decisions. Peter Schmeichel lavishes a praise on Eric Ten Hag's attitude during FA Cup victory over Liverpool. Manchester United legend Peter Schmeichel has complimented Eric Ten Hag's response to the Manchester Derby Day defeat in the last two matches. The treble winning keeper was full of praise for the United manager this time around and told the BBC Sport the following. The way United won that game pleases me enormously because it is something that has gone out of their game in the past few years. I haven't seen that urgent willingness to do absolutely crazy things in order to achieve that win. The pundit was reversing the tactical switch at half time and extra time when the home side effectively played with two defenders when Anthony was converted to a left back and Bruno Fernandes a quarterback style center back alongside Harry Maguire. He said, we call that risk mode where you put everything in there in order to win, but what a performance from Ten Hag and the players responded to what he wanted to do. The 60-year-old was even impressed by how the manager addressed for the occasion. He said, most people will say this doesn't mean anything, but he came on that pitch in a suit and tie and looked like a different man. He looked like the manager, like a strong character. Sometimes these little changes have a massive impact. If this is how Ten Hag is going to approach this next period, then I don't see any reason for a change. There are lots of other positions that need changing in the club, and you can do it all in one go. Man United have their sights on Bologna striker Joshua Zergzi. Manchester United are looking to sign Bologna striker Joshua Zergzi this summer, according to Gazeta dello Sport. The Red Devils currently have Rasmus Hoyland as an undisputed starter up front following his big money move from Atalanta. The Dane had a mixed start to the season, but he has found his feet since the new year. He has 13 goals in all competitions. Despite this, the club are expected to invest on another center forward with Anthony Martial set to leave on a free transfer. Martial's current deal expires on June 30 and the hierarchy have decided against renewing it amid his regular injuries. Gazeta dello Sport now report that United are in the running to sign Zergzi who could leave Bologna in the summer. Bayern currently have a 40 million euros buyback clause and it's a claim that it will take at least a similar fee to tempt Bologna. However, the Serie A outfit could demand a much higher sum, 
Particularly if they qualify for the Champions League, the club did not rule out the prospect of keeping the Dutchman for another season. Zirgzi has had a fine second season with Bologna. He has netted 11 goals and provided 6 assists from 30 appearances. The 22-year-old has also completed 21 passes per appearance, winning 4.2 duels and making 3.1 ball recoveries. The Dutchman has created at least one key chance per game. He has all the attributes to become an elite striker. Despite this, United will not want to spend over the odds for his services this summer. 40 million euros seems a fair price, but it could raise to 60 million euros or more if Bologna were to qualify for the Champions League. That appears likely to happen. As things stand, a top 5 finish in Serie A would guarantee qualification. Bologna are currently fourth in the table, 7 points ahead of Stick's placed Atalanta. Manchester United keeping tabs on Shakhtar Donetsk midfielder. Georgi Sudagov and have made inquiries. Manchester United have requested information about Shakhtar Donetsk midfielder Sudakov ahead of the summer transfer window, according to Italian journalist Mirko Di Natale. The Ukraine international has a release clause of 100 million euros and the Red Devils will have to pay top dollar to land him after Napoli saw their 40 million euros bid knocked back last summer. Juventus are also keen on the 21-year-old, while Galatasaray, Manchester City and Barcelona have all been linked with him, so the competition is as fierce as they come. Arsenal, Chelsea and Newcastle United are also keeping tabs on the Ukraine international and Man United will have to table a juicy offer to have a chance of pipping suitors to him. Sudakov has backed three league goals this term, scoring against Barcelona in their 2-1 defeat in the Champions League last October. He has also netted a goal in the Europa League. The youngster has compared his style of play to James Madison and Phil Foden, and he is open to a move to the Premier League following the advice of his international teammate and Chelsea star Mikaelo Madrik. Man United are looking to bolster their attacking ranks, with Anthony likely to be sold following his struggles. Anthony Martial and Jadon Sancho are also expected to leave, and manager Eric Ten Hag could do with another solid forward. Sudakov fits the bill, as he has impressed plenty of clubs, but the Red Devils are unlikely to spend 100 million euros on him, having recruited Anthony for a similar fee last summer. Shakhtar clearly wants something huge for one of their best players, having handed him an improved deal and extension until 2028. Man United must decide whether such a gamble would be worth it. Manchester United monitoring Real Madrid forward Rodrigo but face competition from Arsenal and Liverpool. Manchester United have been linked with a move for Real Madrid forward Rodrigo. The 23-year-old has been a key member of Carlo Ancelotti's side, bagging 13 goals and 8 assists in 41 appearances across all competitions this term. However, he could struggle for game time next season as Kylian Mbappé is expected to join the La Liga Giants on a free transfer this summer. According to Sport, Manchester United are keeping a close I on Rodrigo's situation at the Santiago Bernabeu. The Red Devils could make a move for him at the end of the season but face competition from other Premier League clubs. Manchester City, Liverpool and Arsenal are interested in the talented winger who has been at Madrid since 2019. A deal for Rodrigo, who has a contract at Madrid until 2028, will reportedly cost over 100 million euros. Rodrigo could be a brilliant signing for United. He is a top forward who can play in various attacking roles. He mainly plays on the left wing, but is comfortable playing across the front line. Rodrigo has made over 200 appearances for Madrid across all competitions, tallying 50 goals and 40 assists. Los Blancos will likely be unwilling to part with the Brazilian, but things could change if the player pushes for a move in the summer transfer window.
Shok reports suggest Man United have reached an agreement in principle with Barcelona for Rafinha. Manchester United have reportedly struck an agreement with Barcelona for the shock signing of Rafinha. United were interested in signing Rafinha while he was at old rivals Leeds United, but the winger elected to complete a move to Camp Nou instead. The player himself admitted that a transfer to United was on the cards before he joined the Catalan Giants. The left-footed Brazil international has returned 37 goal contributions in 78 matches for the Blaugrana, but in recent games, has had to lay second fiddle to the outstanding Lamine Yamal, who has taken La Liga by storm. United could be on the hunt for a right winger, especially amidst doubts over the long future of Anthony at Old Trafford. It has been suggested that Anthony could be made available for sale this summer, with the United keen on cutting their losses and offloading him. Already, the Red Devils have been linked to players such as Michael Oles, Pedro Neto, and Nico Williams. However, according to a shock report from Spain, it's Rafinha who is the closest to signing for the 20 time English champions. The newspaper states that United are in full negotiations with Barca for the player. Indeed, it's believed that the two European giants have already reached an agreement in principle over a surprise 50 million euros transfer deal. This figure is before add-ons and other performance-related bonuses have not been taken into account. Barcelona's financial troubles are well documented and they need to sell before buying rather than selling their established starters and most promising youngsters like Yamal, Ronald Araujo, Pedri and Gavi, they are open to parting ways with the more fringe stars like Rafinha. It's important to note that this report should be taken with a pinch of salt. The outlet in question is not the most reliable in terms of transfer news and their information will need to be backed or supported by more reputable sources. As we wrap up today's Manchester United news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.